Well, welcome back to the Brian Basketball. And I'm going to do a little quick thing tonight. I'm going to show y'all what I do during my spare time. And uh, we're going to do a little snipe. Y'all know what a snipe is? Here in Oklahoma, we used to send kids out to go snipe hunting. But that's kind of like cow tipping. And if y'all have never heard of that, it's some pretty funny stuff. But y'all see this card right here for ten dollars. Then it sold for two. Then it sold for twenty-three. These are ungraded, right? This is the card right here. There's one eight, one nine, and one ten. And there's only been one of the gold sold, and it sold at three hundred dollars. But it, it's a ten. There's only one of them. So, that being said, guys, what should this card go for here in two minutes and 19 seconds with no other watchers except for me? What y'all think? How much shall I go? To get this card graded from now on, it's only one. I think it's third year, yeah. But it's a one of one. I mean, there's an eight, nine, and ten. It's a one of one. How much should I go on it, guys? The thing is, I've already bought four cards from this company yesterday. I haven't paid for them. And y'all know how I like to combine my shipping, so we're going to knock this down to probably a dollar. So it's going to be a dollar plus whatever this is, plus tax here that i got to pay for them to ship it to Oklahoma of all those places. You know, if it's going to cost $50 to get a card graded from now on, if someone wants a Tom Brady graded as an eight, hmm. They want to see again? There's only one of them. And there's a one nine, and there's one ten, and this ten down here sold for $300. Oh, wait a second. We got a seven and a gold. That someone's going to have to pay $50 minimum from now on to get graded. Well, let's jump back over. I got a minute. Let's see. Let's see if we get any. When I first started watching it, guys, it was at $8. And it's jumped all the way up to $14. I got, I'm not going to worry about anybody. I'm just going to jump on in there and buy it. What do y'all think? How much should I go? What would be a fair price if someone's going to have to pay $50 from now on? You think $50 would be a good price as a, as a top number to make sure I win it? That's how I snipe them. I wait till 10 seconds, and I put in my highest bid that I'll live with. I'll live with 50 because I don't think you'll be able to get that card grade again for anything less. I hope I'm still logged in. I hope it don't mess with me here in a minute. We'll go ahead and get 50 ready. We get ready to place my bid. 13, 10, 9. There it goes. Am I going to be the winning bid at 21? Let's see if anyone pops me. You think that was a good deal? You know it was. Someone tried to hit me $3. Did y'all see that? I got it for 30. Someone even hit me again. But it's still worth 30, isn't it? Y'all see that? I appreciate y'all showing up. Maybe I'll have this out there at the Oklahoma Card Show and I might be able to get 50, up, 50 out of it. What do y'all think? I don't know. I think it's a one on one. Maybe I'll put it right back up on eBay sometime. Maybe when he retires. Maybe I'll hold on to it for a year and watch it double in value. Because all cards are going to double in value over the next year. When If the grading prices at PSA don't come down, it, it's going to be $20 to grade a card at least, guys. And you saw that most people are paying $10 for one of them ungraded. <laughs> you know how hard they get graded? There was a 10, a 9, and an 8. And pistols firing, cowboys.